Hey guys, Jason here again, and I have another big box custom theme tutorial for you guys. This one is going to be extremely simple. We just added this feature to the big box custom themes. Uh, literally just earlier today, just like a half an hour ago, I uploaded the beta for this feature. Basically what this will allow you to do is to use custom images built into your custom themes for all the various platforms and the various types of images for platforms. So let's go ahead and load up the LaunchBox folder. Uh, that's not the right folder. Let's see. LaunchBox. All right, let's go into themes. And then you'll notice in the new default theme, after you start up BigBox, the default theme is replaced whenever you start up BigBox. And in here, you'll notice there's a new image images folder. And in the images folder is a platforms folder. And then we have banner, clear logo, device, and fan art. So if you open one of these up, for example, you want to replace a background and you check out this readme file, you'll notice it says, place your custom fan art background images here and they will automatically override the user's existing platform fan art images when this theme is in use. Name the images by the name of the platform, such as Nintendo64.jpg. Both JPEG and PNG images are supported. So basically what this means is any images you place in this folder and include with your theme will automatically be used instead of whatever whatever images the user has set up for their collections. So all we have to do, um, first off, let's copy this default theme over. I copy this and paste it. And we're going to change the theme name. I'm just going to put in custom for this theme. Um, and then if I I'm going to basically what I'm going to do is, is copy some background images here. You notice I have some background images uh, named by the name of the platform uh, for Super Nintendo Arcade and NES. And I'll go into my custom theme and the images folder, the platforms folder, and then the fan art folder because these are backgrounds. And I'll paste them in here. Uh, and so we now have a, a new custom theme that all it will do, the only difference it's gonna do right now, is to change out the background images for these three platforms. Uh, but it's that easy, you don't have to tweak anything. Uh, that's that's all what it looks for, it looks for them directly in those folders. Um, so that should provide some pretty easy flexibility. So now if we start a big box, right now it's on the default theme. So you'll notice that uh, it's not using those images that I put in there uh, for Nintendo 64, it was NES and Super Nintendo, I think. It's using the, the images that I have in my collection instead of the uh, images in the custom theme. So of course, what I need to do is back out and unlock and then go into uh, options. And if we change the theme under views, to my new custom theme and back out, you'll notice that Arcade is now using that custom Arcade background that I had. And same thing for NES, and same thing for Super Nintendo. These are Niglurians uh, from the forums, his custom backgrounds, by the way, which are just gorgeous. Uh, obviously, for this particular theme, it would be better. In his theme, he uh, hides the the text that goes on top and does some other things so these backgrounds aren't ideal for this particular setup uh, they're made for a different theme but just to show you how easy it is to change up images and include images now with your custom themes it's a big deal so for for example if i wanted to, to, to distribute my custom theme i could just zip up the custom folder uh, which would include my new customized fan art platform images and everyone who uses this new theme is going to automatically use these images for the background images for the platforms and of course we have device clear logo and banner images as well so that they can be used just the same so that's really easy to to use that's probably the easiest thing we've added for the custom themes uh so uh hopefully that works well for you guys um, I'm going to be doing another tutorial here shortly on uh, uh, data binding and some related stuff uh, with that. So uh, stay tuned. I might even come up with that today as well. And I'll talk to you guys soon.